Okay, next we will continue on uh, the quantum applications. Right, so uh, we can construct a Boolean expression. Okay, we can construct Boolean expression. Okay, using a decoder and also a logic case. Okay, if you remember, uh, in chapter two. Okay, in chapter two, you learned how you can draw the Boolean expression. Okay, using different kind of logic case that we call a combinational logic circuit. Okay, because we are using different type of case. Okay, or and nor as or and other type of case and uh, in chapter 3 you also learn how you can uh, de design or draw boolean expression okay, using only then or no kit only okay. but now in this chapter okay you also can uh, construct or uh, draw okay, boolean expression okay using a decoder and also a logic kits so example if you have two variable expressions okay if you have two variable boolean expression okay so this is the example of uh, equations or expressions so these equations can be constructed using two for decoder and or kit okay the most important thing is actually you need to determine type of decoder yeah, type of decoder so previously i i have told you that we have four type of decoder Okay, we have two four decoder, okay, three eight, four ten, and four sixteen. Okay, sorry, okay, four sixteen. Right. So how we can determine which decoder that we need to use? Okay, you need to refer to your to your equations. So if your equation only have two variables, for example, for this equation you only have a and b. Okay, so if you have only two variables, you need to use decoder 2, 4. Okay, you need to refer to the first value. Okay, you need to refer to the first value. Okay, you need to refer to the first value uh, for the type of decoder. Okay, except for these two type of decoder for 4, 10 and 4, 16. Uh, you need to refer to the variable okay if you have four variable which is a b c d and also you need to refer the decimal values okay uh, if your decimal value is range between zero until nine so you will use uh, decoder for ten but if your decoder sorry if your decimal values okay, is between zero until fifteen so you need to choose for sixteen yeah. So the decimal value uh, we get after we uh, we uh, do the steps okay uh, in uh, expanding the equations okay for our last step also. So I will show you uh, the step. Okay? So this is how we draw the equations. Okay? So you are given these equations. Okay. So based on this equation, okay, you need to determine the decimal value. Okay, you need to determine the decimal value because your decoder is actually translating or converting from uh, binary to decimal. Okay, so for each binary or variable combination, you need to find the decimal representation. Okay, so example, uh, for these equations, okay, you have three product term, A and B, okay, A and B bar, a bar and b bar okay so how you get this variable 3 2 and 0 so actually based on the combination of the variable so uh, the next step uh, so this step is actually not shown in this uh, uh, methods yeah so the most important thing is actually the expanded uh, step yeah because in this example there are no expanded uh, or expanding the equations again yeah? so i will show you for the next example which is when we have more than two variable three or four okay so for two variable the next step you only find the binary representation so what is the binary representation for each product term so a and b is actually equal to one one okay a and b bar is one and zero Okay, a bar and b bar is equal to 0 and 0. 
so how you get this value so this is actually based on the previous chapter in chapter 3 in SOP uh, how you get the product term okay, how you get the product term so I show you the uh, the truth table for two variable okay so you have 0 0 okay, 0 1 okay 1 0 and 1 1 okay so previously uh, you find the product term so this is the product term so how you get the product term is actually by you ending okay you end the variable okay either the variable is uh, complement or not right so the first product term is a bar and b bar okay second is a bar and b third is a and b bar and the last one is a and b so in chapter 3 you need to find product term from the truth table Okay, from here you get the product term but now in this decoder application it's actually opposite okay so based on the product term you need to find the binary representation and then from binary you need to convert to decimal okay so we have the decimal value here okay, 0 0 is equal to 0 okay, 0 1 is 1 1 0 is 2 and 1 1 is 3 so actually in this decoder application you start with product term okay you find the binary representation and then lastly you get the decimal values okay? but for this step uh, uh, it not show you the second step which is the binary representations okay? the important part is actually the decimal representations okay? So based on the binary, so you know that 1, 1 is equal to 3. Okay, 1, 0 is equal to 2. And then 0, 0 is equal to 0. So you know that based on the equation, the decimal representation is 3, 2 and 0. Okay, and then last step, you need to draw. Okay, so uh, for drawing, first you need to draw the diagram of your decoder. So because you are using 2, 4, so this is diagram for 2, 4, meaning that you have 2 uh, input, and then you have 4 output, okay, represented by decimal, okay, 0 until 3. And then of course you need to combine all decimal value with or. Why? Because this sign, okay, you have plus, okay, plus meaning that you need to use the or, so that's why you need to use OR gate okay? and you just connect between the decimal values that you get from this step okay? between uh, 0, 2 and 3 okay? so 0, okay, 2 and 3 so this is how you draw the uh, equations okay? by using a decoder and OR gate okay? this is uh, the first example for two variables so we look at for the second example this one is for three variables so for three variables okay three variable you can construct by using three a decoder and of course or gate okay the drawing for decoder is actually between decoder and or gate you don't have to use another type of gate just only or gate okay but the differences is the decoder which type of decoder right so based on this equation Okay, uh, we know that you have three variables a, b, and c. That's why you need to choose three a decoder. Okay, so you need to show the process of expanding process. Why? Because uh, this is actually the non-standard expression. Eh? Non-standard expression. Uh, why non-standard? Because the first product term only have two variables. Okay, there is missing one variable okay, which is C right so that's why we call it non-standard so if you are missing one or two variable you need to expand okay, you need to find what what are the missing variables so how you can expand the expressions okay, so this is the step okay, this is step okay, you need to multiply A and B bar okay, time with C bar plus C because the missing variable is C Okay, but why we need to time with this value c bar plus c so this value is actually related with the boolean uh, algebra theorems what is the value for c bar and c one right okay and then uh, one time with a and b bar is equal to a and b bar 
you need to expand but at the same time you cannot change the original equations meaning that if you want to simplify so you does uh, you must have the the original or the first equations yeah so this is how you expand okay you need to time with c bar plus c yeah, c bar plus c not time with c bar only okay not time with c only no you cannot okay you, you cannot uh, show that kind of uh, step yeah because if you do like this okay a bar a and b bar time with c bar okay so you cannot proce uh, proceed with this kind of uh, step okay you cannot time with only c bar why because the original equation is a and b bar so you need to find something how you can time with the value the missing variable but at the same time when you prove the equations it will get back the original uh, equations so this is the step okay you need to time with uh, this uh, theorem I, I don't remember which number of these theorems okay? uh, so c part plus c if you are missing the c bar sorry c if you're missing the a so you need to time with a plus a bar or a bar plus a okay and if the variable that uh, not included in the equation is b so you need to time with b plus b bar or b bar plus b okay this is for three variables Okay, so for four variable is actually same the, uh, the same method so if d is missing so you need to time with d plus d bar or d bar plus d okay? all right and then uh, after you time with this value c bar plus c so you expand you will get these two product term okay it comes from this uh, expanded okay a and b bar time with c bar so you will get this equations and then a and b bar time with c so you will get this product term okay and then uh, so this one is uh, not change okay next is actually uh, you find the binary representation okay binary representation but if you don't want to show the binary representation and then you just proceed you skip the binary representation and then you just uh, show the decimal so it's okay the, the important part is actually you need to show the expanded way expanding expression and also the decimal values the binary part you can skip okay so but i i show you the binary okay i show you the binary okay so for here uh it's uh wait uh, i, I change the pointer color right so example the value is uh, for a is uh, 1 okay b bar is 0 c bar is 0 so whenever the variable is bar mean that uh, is carry the value of 0 so here is 1 0 1 okay 1 1 0 and then 1 1 1 okay after you convert to the binary so you need to find the decimal okay representation uh, for the binary again okay, represented by the binary okay so 100 zero zero is equal to 4 okay 101 one is equal to 5 okay 110 one is 6 111 one one is 7 so meaning that for this equations is equal to this uh, decimal representation 4 5 6 and 7 and then you draw the diagram Okay, so you draw the diagram of 3 8. Okay, so this is diagram for 3 8. You have 3 input and 8 output starting from 0 until 7. And then you draw the OR gate and you just draw the line that connected okay, between all the decimal values, 4 values. Okay, 4, okay, 5, okay, just connect here, yeah, 6 and 7. Okay, done. Right. So this is how you draw the Boolean expression okay, by using a decoder. Okay. You need to show the step of expanding the equations. Okay, meaning that you need two times. Okay, you need to multiply okay, the product term okay, with the missing variable okay, uh, by using the uh, theorems, okay, these theorems. Okay, uh, so if you are missing the C, so you need to time with this value. If the variable that uh, not included in the equation is A, so you need to time with this 
terms okay and then if the p is missing in the uh, equation so you need to time with this value so i hope you can get the idea how you can construct Okay, you can understand how you can construct the boolean expression by using the decoder and also the all gate.